Hey everybody, it's Mother Anne from Trinity Episcopal Church in Marshall, Michigan. It's a little bit before nine o'clock, so it's time for our end of day wrap up and prayers and our song. Um, today is my day off and I am not wearing my collar uh, as a way to uh, remind myself that I should be taking some time off and slowing down. Uh, and to remind us all that it's good for us to find some variety in our day, um, in our week, uh, to try to set some time aside uh, as Sabbath time. So I'm glad you could be with me tonight. Um, the setup tonight is still uh, my laptop. We're still trying to reconcile the sound delay problems we were having uh, with the with the nicer camera. Um, our, our theory is that the um, camera is... Um, processing the image uh, more slowly than it's able to process the sound. So that's uh, why we've been having a delay. Uh, but it's really annoying to watch that. <laughs> I got annoyed watching it. So we want to make sure we can reconcile that before um, uh, we start using it on a regular basis. Um, I see that Mama J is here tonight. Glad you could be here, Mama J. Thanks so much for being here. It uh, looks like we've got you know, three or four people watching so far. Um, that and we, That's part of why I do this sort of verbal throat clearing <laughs> at the beginning of the of our time together so that uh, we have time for people to um, uh, to jump in uh, into the stream. And actually, while I'm doing this, um, this, this is a step I almost always forget because, of course, I'm on I'm usually on my phone. Um, but uh, I can actually share the stream from my phone because I'm on the laptop. So that's nice. And I see George is here. Hi, George. Wonderful to see you. Glad you can be here. Um, so I'm going to go to Facebook and you guys can actually do this, too. There should be a little share button underneath. Let's see here underneath the actual image. Let's see, I'm scrolling down. Uh, I'm going to turn my volume down, though, because this will be really annoying to hear myself. There we go. So this is me. There we go. And let's see here if we can get, let's see if I can zoom in on that. It's too bright. Right, right here is a little share button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and, and say, we're live, like right now, exclamation point, smiley face. We'll see if anybody picks up on that. Because, <laughs> um, of course, uh, what happens, uh, and you've probably experienced this too, is as people are scrolling through, it will say, uh, Anne is live or Trinity is live. Uh, and that's how I've caught some of my colleagues and other favorite places to worship. Um, I got to do a Tizay service or participate um, from home in a Tizay service um, that was happening in France because I happened to be on Facebook at the time that they were going live and I got a notification, which was great. Um, so I see that Joyce is here. Hi, Joyce. Glad you could be here. Um, Ah, uh, yes, I, I think I had seen this also, uh, Mama J. Thank you. Um, okay, so I'm reading the comments real quick. So absolutely praying for for Jack, um, who passed away recently. Put that on our list. Uh, but it sounds like also, are you moving, Mama J.? Um, so if you, maybe you can answer in the comments, um, I want to make sure that I, that we're praying for the right situation. Somebody's moving and we want to make sure that that's a, a good move and pray for that, uh, success. But if you can, um, confirm that is that, is that you or somebody else, that would be really nice. Uh, I see Randy is here. Hi, Randy. And Joan is here. Wonderful. Glad you can be here also. Um, and Marianne. And if Marianne's here, I'll bet you Jim's around here somewhere too. So we may see him pop up in a little bit. Um, uh, glad that you can be here, everybody. Um, so today started out um, in kind of one of those goofy ways that it does. Oh, and I think we have. Uh, okay, so um, that is your move. And uh, we'll be praying for you and, um, and for a better situation, Mama J. Absolutely. So let me add that to the list also. I have these great pens that I like, but I always get the wrong cap off the side and I end up with the thick end of the pen. Uh, Mama J is moving. Wonderful. Thank you for, for clarifying that. Um, 
Don is here. Hi, Don. Glad you could be here. And Debbie is here also. Fabulous. Wonderful. Um, so, yeah, today started out um, uh, with a phone call from a parishioner who's on our, our security um, hotline uh, for, for the security company. Um, you may have heard the really uh, strong rainstorm that came in um, overnight. Um, and uh, we had water in the basement again. So um, I, I suited up and went down there and, and mopped a little bit and did my walkthrough since I was already there and made sure the dehumidifiers were working. Um, so uh, everything is looking actually really good. Um, I had rolled up part of the carpet last time I was there. Uh, or la last time we had flooding down there. So actually this time the, the water didn't get all the way up to the carpet because it was still kind of folded up from before. Uh, so that was uh, a, a nice thing. I'm glad we didn't put the carpet back down. We may just leave it that way for a while um, until the, the we're kind of through some of this weather. Um, but uh, it put up some new signs, updated signs, um, uh, that don't say uh, that the stay at home from the church uh, goes till May 10th because that's no longer the case. Uh, our situation has changed since then. Um, so it was kind of nice to be at church and tinker a little bit. Um, it was my day off, but sometimes things need to happen, you know, whether they're your day off or not. Um, so uh, I, I did try to make sure to, to, to ferret out some some time um, for myself and with God um, as well. Um, I did share actually a live stream uh, from Tizé France because uh, I stumbled upon that this afternoon and it was really nice to be able to kind of sit and settle in and listen to the brothers sing and pray. Um, it was very, very nice. Um, so let's see, I see a couple more comments coming in. Mark and Kathy, glad you could be here today, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. And and we can uh, give a prayer of thanksgiving for uh, Mama Jay's uh, brother-in-law. That's really exciting. Um, that is fabulous. Okay, so we have Mama Jay moving and we have Mama Jay's brother-in-law. Thanksgiving for promotion. That's very cool. Okay, so it's about 9.05. I think um, uh, yeah, we're, 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 we, if people are still coming in, then they know that they may be running late. Um, but uh, glad uh, that, that everybody was able to get here. Uh, fabulous. So we'll go ahead and light our candle and, and continue on. There we go. Get our candle here. And Noreen is here. Hi, Noreen. I'm not sure why that popped up without me clicking, but I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide you now so we don't you know we don't have that one comment up the whole time. Um, and I'll move my cursor. I'll, I'll do that, uh, and hopefully I can keep track. <laughs> okay. So we have our candle here. We can still see that. Wonderful. Okay. So where's my directory to? Ah, also off my right shoulder here. Okay, so tonight um, I actually split up our prayer list. We have our main prayer list and then the um, institutions that we're praying for and then the churches uh, that we'll cycle through. It's just so I so I have a, an easier time keeping track of everybody. Um, oh, okay. Oh, Pat, um, uh, so, uh, you know what? Betty is not on the prayer list. Let me make sure she is. You know, I've been praying for her, but she she gets a, a formal mention. How's that? Um, I'm sorry that that she's having a rough time. You're having a rough time. It's really really hard. Um, I'm I'm glad that you could visit her, um, and I'm sure that um, it was it was worth doing, even if it was um, sad and frustrating in some ways. Um, but thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, very thank you very very much. Oh, boy. You know, it's just, it's hard. It's really, really hard. And I know it's hard, especially when we can't go and be in contact with them the way the way we would like to, uh, especially our, our our friends and family that are in um, assisted living, um, nursing care uh, of any kind. Um, it's really, really tough. So um, actually there, uh, we'll be praying for uh, different nursing facilities uh, as always tonight. Um, so thank you, uh, Pat, for sharing that. Um, so uh, tonight, uh, in our prayer list, we're praying for Dana, 
Tim, Chris, Ray, Alexandra, Angel and Family, Rosemary, Dan C., the Kent Family Women, David, Casey. We're praying for the repose of the soul of Jack. We're praying for um, uh, moving mercies uh, for, for Mama J, for, for God to be with her in her move, and especially in the logistics and all that stuff. We ask that, that it be uh, a smooth um, move according to, to God's will. And we give thanks for Mama J's brother-in-law and the uh, promotion that he has received. And we pray for Betty, who is uh, my aunt. Um, so, uh, yes, please do uh, pray for Aunt Betty. Um, side note, um, reaching way, way, way back. Um, sometimes we would call Aunt Betty and oh my gosh, because um, she lived in Ohio. Um, I think it was Ohio, Ooh, or was it Michigan? I, but she would say, oh my gosh. And uh, us, uh, my sister and I growing up in Wisconsin, we always thought that sounded so funny. <laughs> so I always I have a, a soft spot in my heart for, for Aunt Betty because of that, especially. Um, uh, let's see. So Debbie, yeah, that is, it's really, really tough. Um, De uh, Debbie say, sharing that she has two sisters and a sister-in-law in, in long-term care. And boy, if there was a way that we could help them understand or fix this, we would. And this is one of those places where, where we're, we see that gap between what we are able to do and what we are able to control and what we're not able to do and what we're not able to control. And that can be really, really frustrating. Um, and I think in some ways, sometimes um, medical professionals, even clergy, um, we need to kind of make our peace with that more frequently. Um, the list I have in my mind um, of parishioners that I have not been able to see in time or um, had to visit even though there were limits to their their ability to remember or recognize me or even care that I was there. You know, that happens fairly frequently. Um, but I think that people in their normal lives don't deal with that on the same basis. And I think sometimes um, it's, it's almost like you're, uh, those of us who have to do that more frequently kind of build up a resistance or a callus to that. And not to say that we are being callous, but uh, we have to make make peace with that gap um, more frequently, I think. And I and I completely feel for how how hard that is um, for families as they're introduced to that for the first time. It's just really really tough. Um, so so praying not just for people in long term care, but for their families who are recognizing their limits and frustrated by their limits. Um, especially right now when it's really, um, we, we want to go, we want to be with them, we want to hug them, but we know that that could actually put them in, in peril. Uh, you know, we, we hold back because we know it's better for them, but they just don't understand, Debbie, as you said. Um, so yes, absolutely praying for people in long-term care and, um, uh, and for their caregivers and the staff, but also their families. Um, yep, that's, that's right. Oh, does she still say, oh my gosh? <laughs> That's so Pat, cousin Pat is Aunt Betty's daughter. So <laughs> I, it's, um, we're, 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 we have a little mini family reunion every time we do this. So I'm, I'm glad that she, uh, <laughs> that she has retained that, that wonderful piece of her accent. Um, and yes, I'm glad, uh, Debbie, that prayer helps. And sometimes prayer helps even for, for folks who, who don't remember us who don't understand what's going on, sometimes um, there's something so deeply ingrained in in our patterns that they may not know us or they may not know what's going on. But um, I find that the Lord's Prayer is something that resonates because it was taught to us so early and used so frequently that there are people that um, maybe have a hard time stringing any words together. But at times, um, I'll pray the Lord's Prayer with them uh, nice and slow, and I'm prepared to pray it entirely alone uh, and they'll come up um, to, to, to share some phrases with me, which is always wonderful. Um, the confession is another one that, that um, people will sometimes remember. And um, the 23rd Psalm is one and music, always music um, that, that can resonate so well with people. So um, not that you've asked me for, um, for, for tips, 
Um, but I found that in my experience that that um, can often help uh, quite a bit. Yep, 23rd Psalm, right, Mama J? <laughs> um, uh, but the 23rd Psalm has uh, more varieties of translations. So um, sometimes I find that I'm stumbling because um, I, I'm praying one translation and someone else is praying another one. Um, but, you know, of course, the most important thing is that we're praying together. And and that's always the um, kind of the, that, that anchor for us. Um, so anyway, um, uh, praying, uh, so we've, we've listed our, our individuals and now for the, uh, the groups, uh, praying for public safety officers, for hospice workers and patients and families, uh, for all who are sick, their caregivers, uh, the support staff and their families, praying for, uh, Oaklawn, Bronson and Borges hospitals. And tonight we're praying for Marshall House as well. For the class of 2020, the graduating class, college and high school, uh, if, and for all essential workers. Uh, in our parish cycle of prayer, let's see, we are praying for Tamara and Garrett and Ava, Steve and Sally, Kyle and Mary, Carissa, Abby and Molly, William and Kathy, Stephen, Heidi, Meredith, and Garrett, Sarah, Megan, and Ethan, Kurt, and Janet, and Moose, Mary, Chloe, Will, John, David, and Nora. And then finally, in our church cycle of prayer, praying through the churches uh, in Marshall, uh, tonight we're praying for St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church in Marshall. Let us pray. <sighs> Heavenly Father, we lay before you all sorts of different uh, concerns and petitions. Uh, we rejoice with some of the good news, uh, such as Mama Jay's uh, brother-in-law's promotion. Uh, we lay before you our anxieties as we as we deal with challenges, such as Mama, Mama Jay's uh, move, uh, and the, the concerns that we have, especially for our loved ones who are in long-term care. And we ask always that you be present with us, uh, with the individuals that we mentioned, uh, with the groups such as the, the um, public safety workers, the uh, health care workers, essential workers. Uh, we ask always that you help us to remember that we are in your care and that part of our calling is to care for one another. We ask that you remind us of that connection that binds us together. Uh, please send your Holy Spirit to strengthen those connections and make us mindful of them. And help us remember, especially on uh, today, which is my Sabbath, but on everyone's Sabbath, whenever that falls during the week, help us to remember to set time aside just for, for us and you, where we can be still and know that you are God and that we are resting in your love. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And from our... Compline service, that final prayer for the day. Let's do, uh, this is um, one of the shorter kind of prayers, at the, not quite at the very end of the Compline service. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day, your people may glorify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So uh, for tonight, oh, and we had a comment from Debbie as well. Yes, uh, the 23rd Psalm is always a favorite and Amazing Grace. that um, we, we were singing that last night, weren't we? <laughs> um, so tonight, you know, I try not to do a hymn on my Sabbath and try to do something else that's uh, fun. Um, I'm feeling just kind of run down and tired. Um, uh, you can probably still see, oh, let's see, what side is it? Um, my my face is still swollen. Um, uh, I did call a doctor today and had a, a cyber visit. We we met over Zoom, uh, so I got a prescription um, that will hopefully help with some of the itching and the swelling that I'm experiencing. Um, I gotten some advice from different people um, who who joined the broadcast actually. So thank you all for your advice as well. Um, so th I, that was actually quite helpful. Um, but uh, I did make sure to see a professional because going into the weekend I didn't want to have to to 
do a couple more days without at least talking to somebody um, uh, about it for sure. So um, uh, with that in mind, oh, oh, and Debbie is here. Okay, so folks, Debbie is saying hi from South Georgia. This is a different Debbie. We have two Debbies joining us tonight. Usually we have Jans and Janes galore. Um, so uh, Debbie uh, is one of my first parishioners from um, uh, Calvary Episcopal Church in Americus, Georgia. And uh, she, she was the one who always called me Madre uh, because uh, Father Don, who was the priest there at the time, was known as Padre sometimes. So um, I will sometimes call um, uh, Debbie Miha, which is a contraction of me, Iha, which is my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and it's wonderful to to sort of see you um, uh, tonight, Debbie. I'm glad that you could join us. Thanks so much. Um, so with me feeling a little tired, um, the song that I have in my head is one that I used to sing quite a bit. Uh, again, I'm kind of uh, feeling nostalgic thinking back to my, my old high school and college days. Um, and I used to love, I still love um, Gershwin. And um, this this song, "Someone to Watch Over Me," is one of my favorites that um, that I would sing um, often, just kind of by myself. It's just one of those great tunes that I love. So uh, I share that with you tonight. You're welcome to sing along if you if you know it. Um, and that is fabulous. Oh, and Debbie Agnetuck likes Debbie Standridge's name. <laughs> oh, and here we go. See, she's calling me Madre again. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> it's so nice to see you, Debbie. Okay. So um, this does, um, I, I, I like to do the introduction to the song. You know, a lot of times these Gershwin songs um, have a little run up that, that is less familiar. So um, if, if I start singing and you don't recognize it, it's not because um, it's a different song. It's just the first part of the song that a lot of people don't know. <laughs> <sighs> There's a saying old says that love is blind. Still we're often told, seek and ye shall find. So I'm going to seek a certain lad I've had in mind. Looking everywhere, haven't found him yet. He's the big affair I cannot forget. Only man I ever think of with regret. I like to add his initial to my monogram. Tell me, where is the shepherd for this lost Lamb. There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he turns out to be someone to watch over me. I'm a little lamb who's lost in the wood. I know I could always be good to one who will watch over me. Although he may not be the man some girls think of as handsome, to my heart he carries the key. Won't you tell him please to put on some speed? Follow my lead, oh how I need someone to watch over me. Someone to watch over me. That is 
one of my old favorites and I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, and I like to imagine that you guys are singing along with me too. <laughs> Um, and if you ever want a really, really great recording of that, that's another one that's on that wonderful uh, album. Um, I think it's called Pure Ella. It's Ella Fitzgerald and Ellis Larkin. Um, and it's just uh, Ellis Larkin on the piano. There's no other instrument happening. And it's um, one of those bare bones sort of recordings that I just absolutely love. So I highly recommend that for you if you're ever feeling... Uh, like you want to dust off some of those old jazz standards. It's just fabulous. Um, oh, Debbie, I'm glad you liked it. And Joan, I'm glad you liked it too. That's fabulous. Um, and remember that God is in, um, God is with us and all around us all the time. And I think God is in the music as well. Um, I know that the, that the song is kind of on the surface about, you know, a romance that hasn't happened yet. And the, the, you know, this, this uh, character who's, who's longing for someone to partner with and someone who's going to take care of her. Um, oh, and, uh, uh, and th yes, absolutely. Thank you, Pat, for uh, everyone for praying and uh, Debbie saying thank you. That's wonderful. Um, but I, I, it's kind of funny because we talk about God as the good shepherd and it's, um, you know, it's not a romantic sort of love um, that, that we're talking about with God, but this idea of us needing a shepherd. <laughs> um, you know, I'd, I'm not necessarily sure that I'd want to, um, well, I mean, I guess if, if God wanted me to add God's initials to my monogram, <laughs> <laughs> that would be fine. Um, but but this idea of, of partnering with God and be, being cared for, I think, is, is something that, uh, that still resonates, even though it's kind of a different situation. Um, but remember always that, that God is in God is in music um, and it doesn't always have to be, I think, um, you know, a, a hymn, um, you know, so something that other people would consider sacred. I think God is in, in, in even though the vibrations of those notes, that that is, that can be a very holy thing. Um, that's, that's right, Debbie. He's always watching over us. <laughs> uh, and sometimes we think we're longing for, for one thing when actually what we need is another, uh, which is a, a wonderful thing also. So, um, yeah, I found myself in a very weird musical mood this week. I've been listening to all, you know, all, old, old bands that I that I, um, I always enjoyed, but I haven't listened to in a long time, like uh, the Violent Femmes, and then um, uh, listening to some classical stuff. I posted about uh, hearing Carmina Burana um, uh, by by Carl Orff, uh, and uh, I was looking up uh, pictures at an exhibition by Mazursky, um yesterday, which was very fun. So, um, I think God is in those spaces, those in-between spaces uh, as well. So um, I'll leave you with that tonight, that thought that uh, God is with us, um, whether we're paying attention or not paying attention. Um, and that, uh, that that longing that we feel can often uh, be longing for something holy when we don't really understand what the nature of that longing actually is. Uh, and right now, you know, we're longing for, sh for fellowship with each other, which is also a holy thing. Uh, longing to be making music together, which is a holy thing. Uh, so I, I invite you to look for that that longing and that holiness and find God in that space too. Um, I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope that this has been a nice way to end your day. It's been a nice way to end mine. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, everybody. Love you. Take care and peace. <laughs>